Another thing to talk about really briefly is if you know somebody has acidosis or alkalosis, how do you figure out if it's respiratory or metabolic? Essentially, if we've got an increase in pH, that means alkalosis. If we have a decrease in CO2, it means it's respiratory alkalosis. If we have a decrease in pH, it means we've got acidosis. And if that's accompanied by an increase in CO2, then we've got respiratory acidosis. In the case of metabolic alkalosis and acidosis, obviously alkalosis is an increase in pH. That's usually accompanied by an increase in bicarbonate. Or if we have a decrease in pH causing acidosis, then we would have a decrease in bicarbonate. Another way to think this through, I often think about it in terms of if I know what the pH is, then I predict what the respiratory system is going to do. So if I know someone has acidosis, then I expect that means they've got a lot of CO2 and they should be breathing rapidly. If they are breathing rapidly, it means the respiratory system is trying to compensate, and so the problem must be metabolic. But if they've got acidosis and high CO2 and they're breathing slowly, that means the respiratory system is not doing what it's supposed to be doing, so that's probably causing the acidosis in the first place. In the case of alkalosis, we'd expect low CO2. And if the respiratory system is working properly, we'd expect decreased breathing. If there is decreased breathing, that means the respiratory system is doing what it's supposed to be doing, and it's trying to compensate for a metabolic problem. If, on the other hand, we have alkalosis, if, on the other hand, we have alkalosis, if, on the other hand, we have alkalosis, and we have very rapid breathing, that rapid breathing is probably the reason for the low CO2 and the alkalosis, so the problem is respiratory. You can also find particular nomograms that can help you through that, too. And the benefit of these nomograms is it takes you through all three. So it graphs all three, all three pH, CO2, and bicarbonate all at the same time. And you see that with a low pH, generally you have a high bicarbonate and metabolic acidosis. Or in the case of metabolic acidosis, we have a low pH and a low bicarbonate. If we go back to respiratory alkalosis, we got a high pH and a low CO2. The red lines indicate CO2, and the lower the lines mean the lower the CO2. Or if we have a high pH and a low pCO2, that means it's respiratory alkalosis. The one last thing that I wanted to go through are these tiny diagrams at the top. And I wanted to point out that in metabolic acidosis, generally there's a decrease in bicarbonate, which increases acid, decreases pH, and increases CO2. So this is where we expect to see rapid breathing. Or if somebody's slow breathing, that causes an increase in CO2, causes an increase in acid, decreases pH, and decreases bicarbonate. So that's a respiratory acidosis. If somebody's breathing really rapidly, they're getting rid of their CO2. That's decreasing their acid and increasing their pH. Or if there's something else causing the decrease in H, or maybe an increase in bicarbonate, then that's going to increase the pH, lower CO2, and result in slow breathing. So that's acid-base balance. Thank you.